Blessed be the name of the Lord. Greetings to all our Christ Tech family. I want to greet you all in the mighty, in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says faith comes by hearing the word of God and not just any word but the word of God. The Bible also says that in the midst of everything happening in the last days, the word of God will be preached. This evening I want to um, bless each and every viewer with this word of revelation, the end time book, the book that proclaims the coming of the Lord. Uh, today's word comes from Revelation 13 with a title, The Bread of God versus the Bread of the Dragon. Um, the message again is Revelation 13. Let's move over to our word. It reads as follow. Um, um, Revelation 13 verse 1 says, Then I saw a beast rising up out of the sea. It had seven, it had seven heads and ten horns with ten crowns on each horn, and written on each um, head were named the blasphemy of God. This beast looked like a leopard, but it had the feet of a bear, and the mouth of, the, of a lion, and the dragon gave the beast power in power in his throne and great authority. Then we move on to verse 5, it says, Then the beast was allowed to speak great blasphemy against God. And he was given authority to do whatever he wanted for 42 months. Uh, but down in verse 8 it says, And all the people who belong to this world worship the beast. They are the ones whose names were not written in the book of life. Before the world was made, the book that belongs to the Lamb who was slaughtered. Now in this word, uh, Apostle John and Daniel gets a brief vision from God to show us what is going to happen in the last days. Revelation 13 verse 2 says that the dragon gave his own power to the beast and the throne and great authority. The dragon copies Jesus' creation in Eden. The Bible says in Genesis, it says that then God gave the man bread and gave him full power and authority over Eden. Here we can see how the devil used God's creation plan and he used it in the, in the last days. It says, then God gave the, God gave the good bread to Adam, the heaven, the heavenly bread to worship the Lord. But the devil copies God's work. Revelation 13 verse 5 says, the beast was allowed, allowed to speak great blasphemy against God and he was given authority to do whatever he wanted for 42 months. 42 equals 4 plus 2 equals 6, the number of the beast. Now, as we move on, it says, verse 8 says that the people of this world will worship the beast. Again, not all are from this world. For the Bible proves this in John 17, verse 14. The Bible says, I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, because they are not of the world, just as I am not of this world. The book of Revelation says in verse 11, And then I saw another beast rising from the earth. So now there is two beasts. But as we move, we can see that the same thing that's happening in Revelation is already, it already happened in Daniel. Now Daniel saw this vision in the beginning where, the, where he saw a vision of the beast. But Daniel saw four beasts. And the word reads in Daniel 7 verse 1, it says, Earlier during the first year of King Belshazzar reign in Babylon, Daniel had a dream and saw a vision as he laid in his bed. He wrote down the dream and this is what he saw. In my vision that night, I, Daniel, saw a great storm crunching the surface of a great sea, with strong winds blowing from every direction. Then four huge bees came up, up, up out of the water. Which e and each of them were different to the other. So here we see that Daniel also received the same vision, but before, before John could receive the vision, the Bible says that the beast demanded the people of the world to worship him. They will be put to death if they not if they don't worship him. But to prove that God is a gentleman, the Bible never says that God demanded people to worship him. But instead, he blessed them and they should give praise unto him. 
But the devil wants the people to forget about God's plan. And, he be, and believe me, the Bible says, says it many times that the people of the earth will be fooled. To prove that the beast, to prove that the beast became men, Daniel describes the beast in Daniel 7. Daniel says the first beast was like a lion with eagle wings, but he had a human mind, which means the beast could think like a human. Here the devil stole God's creation again and he makes his own beast. It goes on and it says the second beast looked like a bear, but had three ribs in his mouth between its teeth. They devoured human flesh. The third beast looked like a leopard, but to him was given authority. No animal has authority. Only humans, yet authority was given to this beast. He says, Then I saw a fourth beast that was much stronger than the others. He had horns, but between the horns was a little one that had eyes like a human, and a mouth that was boosting arrogantly. So here we see that in Revelation, it talks about the beast, but it doesn't give a full description about the beast. But before this, God already um, revealed this to, to, to Daniel in Daniel 7 of how the beast is going to look like. So at the end time, while everybody is thinking that the beast is going to be an animal, the devil has created his own human being with eyes, with a mouth, with everything. In Revelation 13 verse 3, it says, the Bible reveals that there were two beasts. The one performed great miracles. The devil even made fire fall from heaven, but is using God's way to fool people of this world. The same event happened in Genesis 19 verse 24. It says that at the gate of Sodom was two angels that came to Lot and his family out of the city uh, to, to rescue them out of the city. For God was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah because of their sinful ways. And, this, and he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah by throwing fire out of the heavens on the two cities. So now the devil has used God's whole plan, how God makes things and how he produces it. He has used this to fool the people of this world. He says to angels, to, to angels, the beast were both cow, but the beast also used fire. Are you the few that God has called to leave the city? Or will you stay for the fall of miracles? In the end time, will you rise up and say you are a child of God? Or will you be misled by the devil's miracles? The devil is a copycat of God's work. Revelation 13 verse 15 says, That there was a statue made of the beast and anyone who will not worship the statue will be killed. The same as with Daniel, the same event happening in Daniel as well. The Bible says in Daniel, it says that Nebuchadnezzar created a statue to be worshipped. And if people do not worship the statue, they will be, they will be put to death. But Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego knew the whole plan. And they praise their God. In circumstances where the devil attacks you in a way that you feel like you need to bow down to him, I want to motivate each and every viewer this evening that the devil can scream out loud as he wants, but God is still the God above all. I want to end this message with this verse. Hebrew 2 verse, verse 1 says, A warning against drifting away. Verse 1 says, So we must listen very carefully to the truth that, have, that we have heard, or we may drift away from it. For the message that delivered through angels has always stood firm, and anyone who changes this will be punished. So God has already warned each and every, every person right through the Bible of what is going to happen at the end time. And many people will be fooled on this earth. But the Bible also states that many people are called, but only few are chosen. If you are that few that are chosen, I want to, I want to ask you this evening to, to, to look the, the right direction. For God is with you. God is there. It's just for you to look the right direction. 
Many people will be fooled by this, by this beast. He will do miracle signs and wonders like nothing else, but God will stand firm. God knows the plan that he has for each and every viewer. Do you have the bread of God to stand firm through every trial and tribulation in your life? Or do you have the bread of the beast that will mislead people of this world? We are a lot of people in this world, but the Bible states that a few are called. A few people on this earth will be led by God and a few will be misled by the devil. I want to greet, I want to bless each and every viewer this evening. Do not be misled by the devil, but believe in God. For the word doesn't say if you are a Christian, your life will go smoothly. The devil will attack you from right, left, center. He will try to destroy you. But if you stand firm, the word promises that when the Lord comes and, and fetches his people, they will have a, a reward in heaven. I want to bless each and every viewer. Stay strong in God. Don't make, don't take this time or this opportunity that the devil is trying to hurt you to underestimate God's power. Where everybody has failed, God is stand, is stand tall. May God bless this wonderful word. And may he bless each and every viewer this evening. I want to bless each and every one by saying this, that God will stand firm when you cannot stand anymore. When Daniel was put in the lion's den, he standed firm with God. He worshipped God and he called upon God's name. And God rescued him. The Bible also says, then with Nebuchadnezzar, when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was thrown in the oven, they could not be burned, for the God was with them. It says that when Nebuchadnezzar saw this, he asked them, But who is the fourth man? And may God be the person next to you this evening. May God be your, your, your miracle working God. In every situation that you are in this evening, remember God is faithful. God will help you when it feels like God is not there. He's just, he's just next to you. May this word be blessed and may it bless each and every viewer this evening. But before, before all this happened, before the beast came out of the sea, we see in Revelation 12 that um, it talks about the woman who was pregnant. The Bible says that the woman was pregnant in the end time with a baby. And we know that the baby is basically the spirit of the Lord. And it says that while the baby was still pregnant and before she gave birth, the, the, the dragon was already ready to devour this baby. So the dragon was already ready to take away the spirit of the Lord. It says the devil knows the value that the spirit of God has on, the, on his children. Therefore, he tried to steal and kill the spirit. But God is, but God is a God of his word. While the woman gave birth, the, the Lord of, the Lord of God snits the baby up into the upper room of the Lord. In the end days, there will rise many kingdoms. These kingdoms will try to rule the earth. The Bible says this in Daniel verse 7 verse 17, that four huge beasts will arise which represents the four kingdoms. But in the end, the holy people of the Most High will be given the kingdom and they will rule forever. Don't let the devil steal your spirit this evening. Don't let the devil snatch away the glory that God has given unto you. May God work his glory and may he use you in Jesus' name. Amen.